Right, now I was going to uh, record a video how to swap the gator on the Fiat. Uh, but then, well, soon, no sooner they started, but then uh, our queen actually died. And, it, um, well, I tend to have a bit of a different focus. But uh, I'll just talk through some of the stuff that I learned. And I don't know if it's going to be useful to anyone, but I'll sort of include it here. Right, okay. When you come to change the gator, right, the gator, this one costs around about 20 quid. Got it from Amazon. Uh, genuine leather. A lot better than the original one. I'll show you the original one in a second. Right, to actually get at the bottom half, not difficult. All you need to do is basically just work your way around here. It's only held in with a few clips and um, just a small screwdriver or anything else like that will just pop it up. It's not difficult. You will get that up in seconds. The problem that you're going to have is the gear knob because to get the gate up, the old gate off, you've got to pull it up past the gear knob. Right now, you can either now, as soon as you're getting rid of it, you can cut it off. That's not a problem. The problem is getting the new gator on over the gear knob. Now, you can either undo some of the stitching, pull it over, and then stitch it up afterwards if you think you're good enough to do that. Or well, the other thing you have to do is take the gear knob off. Now, to take it off the original Fiat one, um, I tried working all the way around this edge here. If I get in close, working all the way around this edge with a screwdriver. Right, and it, it was a bit of a non-starter. Right? It looked like it was not only clipped in really tight, but it was also super glued. So, um, or something like that. I mean, it just was not going to come off. Or eventually, well, I say that eventually it did come off with a lot of boot strength and ignorance. But um, after that, I just decided, you know what? I'm going to have to get a new one because it's just too... I'm not putting that back on again. So I would suggest that when you replace the gator, you get a new gear knob at the same time. I got this one, which has got a chrome top. The original one, I got just a plain black top. Um, and I thought it matches some of the chrome in the dash. So um, I'm more than happy with that. So I would look at changing both together. I mean, you can get these things, you can get them in white. If you want to make them change the color a bit, you can get them in other colors. Um, and the gear knob itself, I mean, you can get to the different designs on that, but I would get the two together. Both will cost you around about 20 quid each. That's not a huge amount to pay, and you can change both at the same time. Once you've actually got the old gear knob off, just underneath there, there is just a, uh, I think it's a 10 mil nut. Basically, just unscrew that, gear knob comes off, you can get the gator on. Uh, you put a little um, cable tie at the top, Pass it round underneath the uh, piece at the bottom, clip the bottom piece in, and then that is it, done. This was the original gator, if I just sort of show you that. Right, and you can see that doesn't look to me like genuine leather. Right, I mean, the inside of that is just... Um, I'm not sure what you call that. Uh, let's just sort of kind of plastic faux leather, I think. Right, so that was the original gator that was on there. Um, whereas this one is like a sort of a softer leather, and I think it looks a little bit better. And it, um, so if you're looking at doing it, uh, feel free to do it, but you're going to have to replace both, I think. I, I don't know a better way of doing it. Anyway. When you actually get this on as well, I would suggest you might want to super glue it on. Now this is actually just clipped on. It is sort of slightly moving, I, um, but it's not a big issue for me. But if you want to keep it sort of on, you could super glue it. But then if you super glue it, chances are it's never going to come off again. But on the other hand, are you ever going to want to take it off again? Probably not. This you can still lift up if you want to sort of get underneath and grease underneath. Um, but replacing the gear knob, probably not something you'd probably do again. Right, anyway, that's it.